guys hello again quick notion and I'm not even gonna be able to do a review on that particular um, novel because I just picked it up I'm trying to figure out if I've read it before I think I did but I don't remember it so I probably read it years ago so um, this is the book that I'm currently reading it's called La Main Imaginaire it's written in French basically it's about an imaginary lover that this young lady just um, she forfeit in her mind because she is working in these um places and her bosses and everyone is trying to hit on her and she really clearly does not want people to you know she just wants to work and get her money but um she ends up imagining a lover and this is what the book is about Gideko is an author that i was completely obsessed with when i was young um he is he um Gideka is dead he died in 1993 but he is definitely one of those classic authors i believe that Gideka is a misogynistic miso you know like he does I, i'm not gonna say he doesn't like women but all of his books all of them are about women it's always a story and each one of the stories are about a different woman he is truly um you know after reading the other woman i wasn't sure which novel that i wanted to read but then i forgot how um how great of an author he was um, I've always read all of his books in French because back then when we went to school, you know, I, you know, I grew up in Haiti. So a lot of the books that I read when I was younger are French book. I'm pretty sure you can find Gideko in, um, in English. Definitely you can. Um, he is part of, he really is one of those authors. So this book, I just, I just started reading it. I can't. It's probably gonna be I've probably read it before but I can't say the whole storyline and everything and I can't really you know review it the way I would uh, because it's written in French so I don't know how I could say it it's very descriptive you know um, if you are not if you've never read in French um, it, would it be easy to read if you you know if you're taking french classes if you are in a in an advanced class i think you can pick it up and i think you can read it you're gonna get into it if you are in um if you just started french classes it's gonna be hard for you to get with the flow because the words are really um ten dollar words as one of my professors would say so the words are really out there so it, it, it may be a little bit confusing or you know it's not like a plutonic conversation French is really um, you know the, the, the wording and more there are dialogues in it but there's a lot of um, the narrative so it's an easy read it's an easy read but if you've never read in French before I may suggest that you have a dictionary next to you I know it's kind of boring to do that but maybe you know that may encourage you to you know learn the language um, that's definitely going to encourage you to learn the language all right so hopefully I'm able to read it and finish it this weekend I have another one I have two different ones that I want to read this weekend and perhaps I can do a small review for you guys by Sunday or Monday all right guys see you soon for my next um topic that i want to um speak on which is in regards to deportation in haiti all right